Today, I just want to give you a few list of jobs that are available in Canada. If ever you're a newcomer, if ever you are planning to come to Canada to stay, if ever, I mean, you have the intentions or you are planning to spend some time in Canada, I'm pretty sure that you will put some um, plans in place, things that will get you going. Obviously, if you are coming with maybe $5,000 or even $10,000 down the line, the money will definitely get finished and you need some job to sustain you when you're in the country. So I've actually compiled a few jobs, a few less easy jobs that are hiring. Actually, it's easier to get a job from. And bear in mind, I'm not saying once you get in a country, you just go straight to that particular company and all of a sudden they hire you. This may vary from person to person, experience and I mean a whole lot of stuff that are definitely needed in order to apply for certain jobs the first job that i'm going to put on the line i don't want to waste your time so the first one is whilst editing the video i actually noticed that the sound wasn't good okay so i've actually had this for a little over some years now and i thought it was doing the job but when i put it inside the editing software i noticed the sound was very bad so guys my apologies bear with me um I'm very sorry once again. I will try to improve with the sound quality. But um, for this, I'm very sorry. And I hope you do enjoy. Dollar store. So this, I think it's only in Canada. I'm not sure. Maybe also in the state. I'm not sure. But um, if ever you find yourself in Canada looking for a job, try to check out for Dollarama. So Dollarama is, the, I think, the short name is Dollar Store. So Dollarama, they normally hire a lot. Normally when you go to the store, they actually have some sort of notice that if you need a job, apply from this email and all that. And you don't even need tons of qualification in order to apply for this particular job. It's very much easy. Um, once you have some sort of certification in sales, once you have, of course, I mean, it's different section. It's not only sales. They do need security as well. So if you have experience in security, if you have experience in sale, if you have experience in cleaning, you are good to go. So Dollarama does hire um, a lot. So if ever you find yourself in Canada looking for a job, try to check them out. The next one, which I believe I've mentioned in some of my previous video, will have to be Tim Hortons or Timmy's. So Tim Hortons, as most of you guys do know, it's a, I mean, well, should I say a coffee shop? They normally deal with like breakfast tea burgers coffee and all that yeah they, they are very popular if ever you are in canada or the state I, I believe i'm not sure if they're in the states majority of the people who are working there are actually foreigners normally um they are like indians it's it's mostly indian so um tim hortons they do hire a lot of people so if ever you find yourself in canada looking for a job or looking for something like to do for some duration I believe you should check them out and normally when you go to their website I'm not sure of the website but if you type Tim Hortons Canada I'm sure it's going to pop up so normally with their website when you go there they have tons of vacancies on their website different sectors for night time day time because I believe they run 24 hours I stand to be corrected so Tim Hortons if ever you find yourself out here try to check them out and you will not regret another one that i want to put i actually put it on my list so this is more of a side hustle which i'm currently doing but i believe if ever you have the skill or the knowledge or some side ideas like maybe you've tried some side hustle ideas it should be able to help you out because for me it's it's, it's working for me so if you try it out, I believe this should even be a full-time job for someone who is really serious about it. So that will have to be the buy and sell market. So buy and sell can either be online like Facebook market, Kijiji, um, like there's a whole lot. There's even a new one called Carrot. So there's a whole bunch of um, online things that you can deal with. And if I say online, like maybe you buy a cell phone or laptop or something for a hundred dollars um you flip it and then you sell it for 150 or 200 as long as you know how the market is you have the knowledge you have like an idea of how the market is it should be very smooth for you to i mean step up in this game and get yourself some money if ever you need a job and you like i said you got the knowledge and the skills 
I would advise you try it and you're really not going to regret it. The next one which I listed here, Barbara Saloon. So Barbara Saloon, where I am currently, which is at, Mon at Mountain. I didn't want to say it, but I've said it anyway. So where I am, which is at Mountain, Barbering shop is mostly owned by like Jamaicans, like fellow blacks and all that. There are also white people that actually own, like those are the high, high end, like, you know. They are mostly Jamaicans and you also get some blacks who are Nigerians, Ghanaians, they are there. It's, it's not as many as the way it is in South Africa, but they are there. So mostly with the barbering salons, you can get the chance to like vibe with fellow blacks. They can teach you if ever you don't have um, the knowledge on how to barber. Mind you, in Canada, the thing is, if you want to really master this thing, you will have to go for a course and get certificate and all that, which I know in Africa, someone can just teach you and you stop working. But here, it is a bit tricky because of the certificate and stuff. But like I said, fellow Africans, they can try talk to you find some ways and means to get you going so barbering salon if you have a lot of knowledge about this salon work braiding cutting there is a lot of money in this business i recently went for a haircut and like i had to book appointment it's just insane because it took me about a month in order to cut this hair after trying several times so you go in it's busy you have to come back so mostly it's an appointment you have to book appointment and prices for this is if you're a guy, barbering should roughly cost you 30 bucks. That is without the beer. But if you got beer like me, they charge extra for beer. So $30 plus beer, you're looking around 35 to 40 per person. And you can you can do 10 cuts in a day, just calculate it. You, you are really, I mean, people do more than 10 even in a day. It all depends on how good you are. So barbering is also in my list if you got experience. I would advise you to check it out. This is actually going to be the last time I'm having a haircut in Canada. Charlie, like the pressure is just too much. You have to book appointment. You book appointment, you have to come and wait. You are busy with work. You have to wait until you have some off days. Charlie, like it's just so crazy. And I'm the type of person that many patients who, my patient level is very tiny. So this haircut, the last one, I'm no longer going for another haircut. I'm just gonna grow my hair the way it was before. I mean, I know I look good in both short hair, long hair, rasta, whatever, but the pressure is too much. And besides, it's gonna help me to save a lot of money if I grow my hair. How much was this again? 50 bucks? Put a bag on it. The next one is skip the dish. And this is very popular. I mean, most foreigners do this job and skip the dish. Is very much popular in Canada so skip the dish is easy but it's not that easy because first of all you need to get your own vehicle you need a license you need a couple of stuff so at the beginning it's not going to be that easy because it's going to involve money it's going to involve a whole lot of sacrifice but once you get all that and apply for skip the dish you should be sorted pretty much <laughs> I don't even know how long until you are tired and you decide to leave because it basically becomes your own job you go when you want you go when you feel like so skip the dish it's more like a, in ghana what's the name i don't even know what the, the, there's a name for it like uber eats so people buy food and then you are with your phone you go take the food you deliver to them you get your money like it's just like delivery and all that but yeah here they call it skip the dish so skip the dish is pretty good but then at the beginning it's not going to be easy due to the you need some money to get the money so yeah <laughs> i'm also going to uh say skip the dish also goes alongside with uber so uber it's a very big job here and it's also not easy because you also need a license and you need to go for some tests and it's it's really not easy but once again once you get all the license your vehicle and all that you will make a lot of money in a duration of a year like it's 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 that fast <laughs> so the next one warehouse and if I say warehouse, I'm talking about UPS, Amazon, all this warehouse stuff. And this is a sector where there are also Ghanaians there. There are also a lot of black people because we are strong and we tend to, I mean, do a lot of heavy stuff. So warehouse job is also available and it pays, it pays pretty well. Um, with warehouse, I think 
people make a minimum of thirty dollars per hour. I, I think it should be around that range because warehouse it's it's a heavy labor. It's a big labor job. I mean, you need to have the the the, the strength for that because if you don't have the strength to do warehouse job you're really going to face a lot of tough time it consists of lifting a whole bunch of stuff but once again if you are strong or if you even have like um some skills or you've done it from your home country then it should be easy for you but just bear in mind it's not an easy job it is a tough one well if i say tough mind mind you it might not be tough for me but maybe it might be tough for you so warehouse job it, it is pretty um easy way or faster way to make some i mean bucks if ever you find yourself in canada but there, there is a whole bunch of warehouse job um but the most popular one ups amazon there's a whole lot of stuff um i've actually i think i got the chance to work at the warehouse some time ago but it didn't take time and i left i've also been a fabricator just in case you don't know i'm just trying to list a few jobs that i've done so fabricator at stinson we were doing doors we were making doors so the doors at your house, we make it from scratch, we spray them, and then we sell it to the wholesale market. And I've, I've done barbering as well. I think that was the first job that I did when I first got to Edmonton. Um, I've done mechanic for BMW, which I think I worked for a week. Um, photography, which I actually didn't inform you guys, but I quit. So I'm no longer working for the studio where I used to work. I'm doing photography, I'm doing videography, but it's a personal job that I'm doing. So I'm, I'm a, I am my own boss right now. So yes, um, there is a whole bunch of stuff. But right now I'm working for a, a company which we're doing videography and all that. But that's another story for another day. But anyway, guys, um, I guess I'm talking too long. Thanks for coming. If you have any questions with regards to these whole jobs in Canada, there's a whole lot. But Sometimes I need to think and write down and tell you guys how to go about it because I don't want to put false information out there. Yeah. So guys, thanks for coming. Subscribe. Um, do all the clicking. Just click. It's free. It's free. Okay. Just subscribe and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.